the basic instructions for using your Cymec Curve Adapter. Your adapter is made of industrial plastic covered with a hook it conversion and attached to it is an 800 grit abrasive paper. This is the instructions on how to use the Curve Adapter. This is not a complete instructional video on how to sharpen curved shears. As you know, the blade that curves upward is the most difficult of the two blades to sharpen. You can sharpen the one blade using your regular plates, but it's the blade that curves inward which is the most difficult. Now, I've already created the ride line using my arc hone. Then you're gonna put your shear into your clamp. But I'm going in and I'm creating a convex shape and I can work it a section at a time, overlapping each section so that I don't get any waves or dips. Be exceptionally careful when you get to the tip because you do not want to take off extra metal off the tip. Check your burr. You can go to smoother abrasives and I'm going to polish my blade. I'm using a polishing pad that I created and I'll be showing you how to create whatever types of abrasives or polishing pads you want for your Cymet Curve Adapter. I'm applying my polish and my diamond spray just like I normally would and I can go back in doing a convex shape and polish my blade surface. This allows me to create the same type of finished edge on a curved shear that I would on a straight shear. Now this shear is our new ocean shear. This is the reason I came up with the idea that we needed this curve adapter. Our ocean curve shear is used by stylus for slide cutting. It has to be very sharp, very smooth. It's actually a 55 degree angle. And we created the curve adapter in order to do this shear, but it can do any shear. This is a really super long scissor. You probably won't ever find a curved shear this size. If you want to sharpen it without taking the blade apart, you can do that. If it's a super long scissor like this, anything longer than a 14 inch shear, I, you're gonna have to use it by hand. You're gonna have to take it out of the clamp when you go as far as the arm allows you and then open it up and move it. Now, if the shear was taken apart, it wouldn't be the same problem. But with it together, which is the easiest way to do this lower end, beveled edge, dog grooming, barbering scissors. Now, one of the hardest shears ever designed for a sharpener to sharpen is the left-handed convex curve shear. And you'll see this used by both barbers and pet groomers and even some hairstylists. Now set up your machine in whatever proper way that you need to to do a left-handed shear. Put your shear firmly in the clamp. Make sure that your wheel is going in the opposite direction. The new Cymec arm will handle up to an 8-inch left-handed shear. The old Cymec arms might be difficult anything over 7 inches. Now you see I'm going in, convexing, and the tip never touches my plate. And I'm going to work down the surface like we did the right-handed shear so that there's overlapping sections so I don't have any dips. Pay close, close attention to when you're getting to the tip because you want to remove metal. You want to create a burr, but you do not want to take anything off the tip and create a situation where your tips won't come together when you close the shears. So just be very careful. Run your machine at slow speed is my suggestion to make sure that you are able to effectively and perfectly create the edge that you need to on a left-handed shear. This is my granddaughter, Susanna, who did the engineering, the, the CAD work, and the 3D printing to create the Cymet Curve Adapter. She's going to show you here the assembly that is needed. 
your curve adapter already comes with the 800 grit abrasive paper attached by the velcro hook it you'll need to put it onto a metal plate that fits your machine different flat hung machines will have different size center holes this is why it does not come pre-assembled use a really strong glue we suggest like a gorilla glue and cover the surface completely let it dry let it dry completely before you try to use your device you don't want to have any dangerous situations where your curve adapter is coming off your plate when you decide you want to have more abrasive papers like Susanna is creating a 2000 grit here take your current abrasive paper draw a circle and then trim it out with either an exacto knife or a pair of scissors you can do this for different types of abrasive papers you might want you can also um, create pads for polishing and whether you want leather or felt or whatever your preference for polishing now you see how this sticks down it's velcro and just make sure you center everything well so it doesn't go lopsided and um, when you're working on your wheel. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about your Simac Curve Adapter, please contact us. A portion of all the proceeds will go to Susanna's College Fund for her work on engineering and the work on assembling the Simac Curve Adapter. We hope that you will like, subscribe, and comment on our videos. Look for other videos that will include all types of sharpening that you may come across in your sharpening business.